Hello everyone, we're back here with Anushka and Hello. from Balance Psychologies and I'm going to link her channel below. She's getting her PhD in psychology in a few months. I wish. No, <laughs> yes, in a year. Are. <laughs> or, yes, in a few months, no, in like a year. A year? I'll be finishing, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she specializes in this and she knows a lot, so I'm thrilled to be here in England, in Leamington Spa, where she she works. <laughs> and oh, yeah, it's the, a pleasure. It's a pleasure. The home base of violent psychology? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is, yes. I wanted to ask Anushka about inflammation and cortisol and all that because I felt that mm. <laughs> I, like I gained weight and I wasn't you know eating yeah. more particularly so yes. and yeah like I was and aging and all that yes narcissistic abuse um, it does it does ruin your health whichever way um, you want to look at it reason why um, we feel like this or I say this is because with, with when you're a victim of emotional or psychological abuse, um, you are going to naturally be stressed or very anxious, depressed, um, and traumatized. And with all of with all of those um, labels or those feelings that you go through, um, you you are going to feel like you're not yourself. Your body is going to be in survival mode actually and when you are in survival mode that's what exactly what you're doing you're just surviving in this moment and this isn't a way of living it's not healthy um, you know certain organs in your body become um, over over stressed overused for example a lot of people say that they experience adrenal fatigue um, they, their immune system goes down um, your gut um, your gut health is is affected so badly as well there's 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 a lot to it for example you don't sleep you don't eat properly so all of these things an amalgamation of all of these things it just means that you're not a healthy person mm -hmm. also your well-being your mental well-being your emotional well-being is all skewed it's not working properly and so this is why this inflammation happens right. and um, what you said earlier about um, not eating oh, oh yes and cortisol yeah. oh my goodness and cortisol hormone yeah that's exactly what mm -hmm. it is it's a it's a poison to the body mm -hmm. um, cortisol and the thing is it's very hard for the body to flush itself of cortisol and what sometimes does happen with cortisol it attaches itself to certain parts of our body that are weaker um, so for example that might look like um, somebody might have quite um, a weak stomach so it, at it, it attacks the stomach or your back yeah or, or throat um, or your heart um, or your or, or blood uh, um, blood vessels and when you experience this over and over again mm. those parts of your body become weaker 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 and that's when the physical ailments you, know, you get this diagnosis like diabetes like um, UTIs heart attack cancer all of these mm. things stem from this and it's so sad so that was my next question what could we do about that do you know you yes, know eat course. healthy because i i always say eat, try yes. to eat healthy do exercise absolutely and meditate, you know anything that can help you your, your you are right 100 well percent. drink water as well so it flushes mm. from your system it's about um after you've had say that experience it's about calming your system isn't it so it's about flushing that from your system and making making that um basically you've got to get it out mm. and it's about calming your emotions I think we talked about this in your previous video, you know, when we talked about anxiety yeah. and it's about all of those principles um, that we talked about in that video, apply them in this situation as well. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't watched that video, um, go and watch the previous one. You'll link it, won't you? Or you'll yes. link it in the description yes. box It'll below. Be down in the description. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. And, well, regarding health, yeah, that's basically self-care that's why i started this series yes my oh, channel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every friday i would put a video about self-care like walking oh that's so amazing and you mentioned that nature so i said yes. walking in nature yes yes absolutely that's so helpful you are so helpful yeah. it does and it does you know it does help you a lot physically mentally and then mm. like and silly things like taking care of yourself uh, yeah. you know taking a bath or all that that's very important too yes and but yes. those are 
added to therapy to you know to what do you think about that? you're absolutely alina yeah, you're 100 percent you've oh, taken okay. the words out of my mouth that's exactly <laughs> yeah. it it's about do you know what like i always yes problem. you have to think about this and and this is what i always say to my clients if you're not going to look after yourself well who's going to do it for you who's going to look after you you've got to do this for you this is your birthright why should you be put back why should you be the second mm -hmm. important no you're first you are number one you're the you're the most important person so you have to look after yourself if you don't do it no one else will and and it's a mindset you've got to make time for this you've got to make time to look after yourself mm -hmm. yoga a breathing exercise um, yeah. pilates all of these things and the reason why going for walks in nature is so important mm -hmm. is because it, nature is calming oh, right. green is the heart is the heart chakra oh, it's, the most calm, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's the most calming color um, do you do yoga I do yes yes, yes. Not as much as I'd like to but <laughs> that's that's why you know this year I'm gonna I'm gonna do that but yeah yoga is amazing because if you think about it, there's certain postures in yoga you're opening up your chakras yeah. aren't you you're opening mm -hmm. up. and also it's really good for um, joints as well when you have like stiff joints because mm -hmm. um, sometimes if you live like in damp and cold countries like in the UK because it can get very it is it's quite damp yes. we do have a damp climate 4 here. degrees today so. <laughs> and yes. overcast and, oh, well this is like this all year round <laughs> we don't get sunny days no <laughs> sorry guys we do we do <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful um, I have to say it is different yeah. I know it's not sunny yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes and that's what I mean the different postures in yoga really help to flow as well um, blood flow um, you know your energy system everything and, and it helps with digestion for that to flow so it's 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 so good for everything and yeah and when when everything is functioning well so are your emotions so are you so is your well-being so there's so much there's so much that you have control over that you can do to make your healing and you feel better Definitely. yes so regarding sleep deprivation and insomnia Mm. That's a big thing, and well, that's linked to this stress. Yes, and stress and anxiety, anxiety, and PTSD as well. And PTSD. Well, how could we deal with insomnia? It's really hard when you can't sleep, isn't it? I mean, it's one of the most annoying things you know like when you just oh. can't sleep oh I could sleep during the day I just what can I do and it mm -hmm. is frustrating and then and then again when you're frustrated you get stressed with yourself so it's just adding and adding and adding and that's where more cortisol is produced because you're getting stressed mm -hmm. um, that's where the stress and the anxiety is heightened so again you're adding and adding mm -hmm. and it's funny because when your body produces cortisol that's when it stops you actually from sleeping because one major major element of sleep or one hormone that we actually need is serotonin mm -hmm. but when you've got cortisol and anxiety or depression your serotonin levels are it, it they're, they're um, problematic because sometimes in depression you can have too much mm -hmm. of serotonin and you sleep right a lot and and in anxiety or ptsd you know you don't sleep enough mm -hmm. but with anxiety and PTSD you're like we talked about earlier in this video you're on survival mode so you're always trying to survive so with PTSD and anxiety you're just reliving all the time you're reliving those stressful moments or um, those experiences that have happened to you like always alert always and, alert yeah. that's that's it you're always always alert and that makes it really difficult to sleep because your brain just doesn't switch off and that's basically the key, isn't it? That's basically the key here is that your brain isn't switching off. Mm -hmm. So like we said already in your first video, and we mentioned it a little bit in this one, mm -hmm. um, it's, um, it's about routines. Mm -hmm. It's about feeling safe, creating a safe space. And when you create a safe space and comfort, um, that's when you can develop a routine. Right. because you know what you can anticipate and you know next. what comes next right. and you feel safe in that mm -hmm. and especially with um, PTSD and CPTSD as well it's about developing routines so like you said taking a bath um, being able to journal write mm -hmm. write it down so it's about calming your emotions so all of this everything that we're saying about sleep appetite everything that's affected by stress and anxiety it's about calming your emotions mm -hmm. and processing your emotions 
so you're just not constantly triggered and anxious mm. and upset all the time and then your body's not producing the cortisol because cortisol goes hand in hand with adrenaline because that's what survival survival mode is isn't it because you're constantly you've got you need to have that adrenaline to motivate you to escape that situation but if you're constantly in that situation you know all of that's going to get strained right. so your body needs to be able to um, return back to itself and it's that's called homeostasis it's got to return back to itself so that you function in a, in, a, in a normal way rather than in survival mode all the time and then your sleep will become better as well mm. definitely well, we have a lot of work to do <laughs> but it will happen it will yeah. it will get better yeah Yes, yes, it does. Absolutely. It does, get better. it does get better in time, I yeah. promise you guys. It yes, really, really does. It takes a bit of work and it's really weird at first doing all these things, but over time, as you're doing them, again, with routine, you're doing it over and over again, you just get used to it. You, you just, that will just become second yeah. nature after mm -hmm. a while. And never think this is selfish because that's what we tend to think like, oh, I'm taking so that's much care of point. myself and I'm, I'm yeah. always. You know, now yes. what's happened to me? I'm like I'm taking baths. I'm doing yoga, yeah. and what about the rest? No, you have to do this in order to feel better and yeah. to be there for other people. Sure, right? sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. For yourself, mainly. Mainly <laughs> for yourself. Yes. Yeah. So I'm loving this series with Anushka, and I'm so happy to be here. And we will continue with our next video now. But for now, it's goodbye. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>